kind of machine. It almost never overburdens its front tires, but neither does it want to power out sideways. If there's oversteer to be had, even at low speed, it demands the kind of inputs that often result in regret. View photos. The V12 delivers. Although it doesn't detonate the 2.1 ton Lusso out of slow corners the way that, say, a Nissan GTRS twin turbo 6 does, it pays off in an 8250 RPM swell that makes engines with half the cylinders feel like playthings. Shifting the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic at speed is hampered only by an infrequent need to find a column-fixed shift paddles. It is a wildly flexible thing, this engine. But the Lusso is not perfect. Its transmission vacillates counterintuitively in low-speed maneuvers where precision is most required. The steering effort is so light that guiding it prudently can be challenging. And it's quieter than the FF, especially at idle. Its exhaust is intentionally hushed, which Ferrari says is to better suit owners who will drive these cars daily. Still, three hours later, after showing its taillights to every Ivco truck in the Alps, we realize the truth about the Lusso is evident, Ferrari has created the world's best answer to the Porsche Panamera. But forget Germanic stoicism, this four-seat, all-wheel drive hatchback is dripping with Italian flourish. Yes, it has two fewer doors than a Panamera. So what? If you're really concerned about hauling four people, buy a Mercedes S-Class. All hips and haunches, the GTC4 LUSSO is also approximately 100% easier on the eyes. And, yes, it's quiet, except at full throttle. Then it's Monza in September. And it's fast.